tell us a bit about yourself. About you, I know you grew up in East Leek, and uh, but not much more than that. Yeah, so I grew up locally to Nottingham. I went to school in East Leek. I uh, come from a working class family. Um, played a lot of sport in Nottingham. Still have a lot of friends and family from here. Uh, started cooking originally here and washing dishes. And that kind of grew and then I spent the next 10 years traveling the world. Lived in America, New York, moved to Denmark, Copenhagen, and then finally came back and opened my restaurant in uh, London. And uh, what did you like about cooking? I think that the freedom to express yourself. I think as a young person, I was extremely creative and my mind as well. Um, so cooking gave me a platform to be able to express myself. And I think also that ran alongside being part of something when you work as a team to create something together as a goal, as something that I, I liked. And it also, the kitchen environment brought discipline into my life, which was important as a youngster. Yeah. And as a, as a civilian, what do you like about eating out yourself? I think hospitality in general. I think now especially, there's so much out there for, you, for us in terms of food and drink. I think food has always been a great way of bringing people together. So whether that's friends or family around a table, um, it's probably what I like the most. Yeah. I think if you, if you think about when you go out to eat, it's normally with people that you care about the most. Yeah. So it, it, I think food has always had a great way of, of bringing people together. Right. And uh, a big sports fan? Yes, uh, all sports. Uh, I think I like the application that professional sportsmen show and, and women. I think that it's um, very admirable and I've always been a, a huge fan um, of many sports and played a lot of sport as a child, so yeah. And do you see a, a crossover between sport and, uh, and cooking? Yeah, I think you can find crossovers in many industries. Um, but I think, yeah, I think with sport, in terms of uh, application, uh, especially team sports, I think the way a kitchen is structured at top level, yeah. it's very much has a similar relationship, yeah. uh, hierarchy, discipline, application, all of the things that, that sportsmen need. So yeah, there's a lot of crossover. Yeah. And so uh, we had a beautiful day here in, uh, in West Bridgeford, and why, why, why Trent Bridge? It's a special place, I think. Obviously coming from Nottingham, Trent Bridge, you know, as a youngster, was always not too far away from wherever I was. Um, whether I was cr crossing it to go into town with my friends, whether it was having my first beer in West Bridgeford on the Avenue, um, watching a game of cricket here, I think, Trent Bridge has been such an iconic part of Nottingham forever and really is the kind of centre point and focus of the city. So I think to have the opportunity to give back in the way that we are is, uh, is, a, special, is a special thing. Is designing menus something you enjoy? Yes, I think it's probably one of the most rewarding yet tasking parts of being a chef when you design a menu. I think finding the balance and the structure um, and using wherever you find yourself, Trent Bridge, anywhere around the world, using that influence to help you design that menu. And what should people expect? I think they should expect a product-driven menu. I think it always starts with the ingredients, with the food. I think that's very important. I think we're going to try as much as we can and use local heritage and history to influence right. the menu. Um, and predominantly be British. I think that for a long time, Britain was never really known for its food. I think there's always that cliche of pie or fish and chips. And I think that for the last five, 10 years, I think a lot of chefs have worked very hard to change that perception. So hopefully we'll give a good insight to what this country has to offer in terms of produce. Um, kitchens look incredibly serious places to work. And uh, how, do you, uh, how do you find the fun in it all? Um, I think it's like anything, you have to find balance. I think discipline and application obviously plays a huge part in a working kitchen. But I think you have to find moments where you can see the, the lighter side of things. I think like most industries, there's kind of that camaraderie between other chefs and peers. There'll always be the, the odd kitchen joke or prank, which will lighten the mood. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's just finding the balance, you know, in service time when, when guests are in the restaurant, you're very focused. Obviously between them periods when you're, when you're pre prepping, you can kind of be a bit more lighthearted. Right. We, uh, we play music now at, at Story in London, which right. helps, I think, changes the mood a lot. Um, so yeah. Right, okay. And cooking wise, what is the hardest easy thing to do well? Eggs. Right. Yeah, I would say. Specifically? I think eggs anyway. I think whether you scramble them, you make an omelette, you poach them, like, but genuinely soft boiled, like I'd say that's probably the hardest, easiest right. thing to get right. Right, okay. And how important personally uh, is the employment of young people in venture? Yeah, I think it's very important. I think as a young person that probably myself lacked opportunity, lacked direction, helping young people find employment, finding what they really want to do in life, I take very seriously. Um, and I'm extremely proud to work with the Prince's Trust to do that. I, you know, I, I feel very lucky and fortunate to have found what I love and it, it's taken me to a place that I never probably imagined I could be. Right. And I've watched young people come through my own restaurants and I've seen it change their lives. And hopefully alongside the Prince's Trust, we can change more. And how do people find out more? Very simple. Just go onto the Prince's Trust website and you'll find all the information you need there. Right. And when you're not bossing a kitchen and, uh, and, uh, and, and doing what you do, what, what, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, I don't get much downtime anymore, so right. it's nice to relax. I walk my dog, the boss, his name's <laughs> Boss, I have a, a bulldog, so I walk him, um, catch a movie, maybe work out, play football with friends. Just anything that gives me a little bit of headspace, right. downtime away from the kitchen, it's very intense yeah. a lot of the time. So, yeah, see family, see friends. Do you find that hard to, to leave the kitchen behind? Yes, I think it's hard. Yeah, it's very hard to switch off. Yeah. I think you feel a level of responsibility and pressure, of course, with when accolades come and things, you have a, an expectation. Um, but you, as I've got a little bit older, you find ways to, to channel it better. Yeah. I don't think it's always there. I think you just find ways of, of, of dealing with it better. And I think things like playing football and, you know, just casting yeah. your mind away, getting some downtime, walking my dog, you know, it lets me come away from that. Yeah. Okay, and being a successful superstar chef, uh, <laughs> the balance between perspiration and inspiration, where do you think that sits? I think cooking gave me a platform to give, it gave me a lot of self-belief where maybe I didn't have so much leaving school. So in terms of the balance of, of inspiring, etc. I think that any any young person should not be afraid to to fail in life, or anything they want to to try and achieve. And I think that we don't celebrate that enough as society. I think, and that brings pressures that sh shouldn't really be there, especially for young minds, for young people. And I think cooking gave me the platform to be able to do that. And I think for me, it's just about how I can help pass that message on that it's okay to not know what you want to do. And hopefully we can inspire, others can inspire people through what they are doing to show that anything is possible for anyone.